So you, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, first open up with a prayer from Pastor Yegan, and then um, Michael's going to say a few words about Jermaine, and you know, and then we're going to open it up to the family and friends. Anyone who wants to share a memory about Jermaine or just anything, you know, to um, pay homage to him this evening, because that's what this is about. So um, I'm going to give the mic to him, and we're going to roll with it. Right. Uh, what I want to do first before we, we pray is I want to go ahead and get all my sayings out of the way so that I don't have to come back up here again. Um, but I want to, um, for this family, um, thank you for your tenacity, uh, for your strength, and for this community, uh, for supporting this family um, during this awful time. Uh, we know that they've been going through some trials and tribulations and um, some unanswered questions and this whole ordeal. So, um, but uh, just the tenacity of this family, to, that that I will not give up spirit. Uh, we hope and pray that they keep that and uh, continue on. And um, and we're praying that God will, at some point, uh, give us the answers that we need so that we can move on. Let us pray. Father, we come in the name of Jesus the Christ, and God, we come to say thank you, Lord. God, we thank you for another opportunity at life, God. God, we thank you for this family, God, who uh, has not given up, God, on their search, God, on their search for answers, God. And God, we pray, God, that uh, somehow, some way, that you would grant them the peace that they need, that peace that surpasses all understanding, God. God, we ask, God, that you would continue to bless this community, God, that support this family, God. Continue to give them uh, that get up and go spirit, God, that they would not give up as well, God. God, we pray, God, that that somehow, some way, God, that we would get the answers that we need for this community, God, for this family, God, God, for this mother and this father, God. God, we pray, God, that something will happen, God, that um, that would give us the uh, answers that we need, God, that we may be able to continue on. It's in your son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to turn it over to you. Thank y'all for coming out and supporting my baby. She, she's still out here looking for her baby. You know? I'm kind of lost in the world, kind of choking up on her. But Jermaine, know we out here. We appreciate all y'all coming out. And we believe that with y'all, you know, it's all about love. And we believe that love is going to lift Jermaine up. It's going to reveal what Jermaine is saying. Maybe somebody out there will you know, take it, you know, at this time or step forward and just, you know, help put us at ease, you know, give us closure, let Jermaine be brought home. I can't, I had the privilege of coming to Jermaine's life when he was about eight years old and, uh, you know, watching him grow up to be the man he became. He was a good kid. He's a child of, of Woodrow. I call him the Prince of Woodrow. 
crowned in his place of worship. Because he is from he is worship. And he was loved, he was he was like he was not a bad kid, he was not a troublemaker. Jermaine had a had a had a caring heart. He was a forgiving guy, you know. And he was peaceful. I mean he was not he was easy for him to get along. He would forgive you when you do something to him. He'll, you know, countless times I would tell Jermaine, you know, you know, I don't understand how you can, you know, trust people or forgive people so easily. But that was his nature. Like I said, you know, Jermaine is, is, is well, is well loved. He's so missed out here. His, my wife is, she, you know, she's a, she's a strong woman. You know, people say it all the time. How y'all keep going? I say it's a must. It's a must, you know. She ain't gonna stop. I can't stop, you know. And, and the people that's showing up out here, and the other people that might not be able to be here at the moment, that's reaching out to us through Facebook, social media, letting us know that they're behind us, they support us, they uh, they with us, you know. Like and like Tracy Fan, the Freedom Fighters, we've been there from day one. And all the news people that's here have been there from day one. You know, we just. We want to get Jermaine home. We want to bring him home. You know, we this this is this is uh, this, it's way way too long. And, you know, we wish the our city officials and elected leaders would be here. You know, to help us out with this, and maybe we can, you know, find some common ground and, and, and work together and, and, and uh, to bring Jermaine home. But I want to let my wife just say something about how they. I want to thank everyone for supporting us through the searches and searching the rivers. But we have searched high and low. But if anybody out there, anybody, if you know anything, just tell them what's been done is done. We just want to bring him home. We just want to bring him home to his kids, please. And like I said, to the family of Marcus Todd, Know with anybody, we don't have no hatred in our heart. We don't. We have lost two two sons of this community behind this fence. And but we need. We would just like to be able to talk, have a discussion about this. Maybe we can, you know, put some of the stuff to rest. We can't. We can't rest until we get Jermaine home. Jermaine got kids. He got a baby on the way. I mean, this is. It's, 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 it's sad times. It's been dark days for us, but his family has been his cousins and people. You know who you are. Uh, the guys that went out there searching, like warning them, and everybody that been there. Gally, Joey, we, we love y'all, man, because y'all been my second family. You know, by coming in, you know, it, it takes something to go out there in the woods and the rivers and them swamps. You know, and people don't know what you're talking about. They ain't been there. Them guys have gone and they get up out their bed. They they come. They come at, 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 at any cost. Any call, they come. Pun you. I mean, they there. But listen, you know we. Like I said, we just we love him, man. We we love him. We we want him home. We want him home. We got his kids out here. Kenzie, Gwen, Elijah. I mean, they they here. We got all his children here. We see them every day. They want their dad at home. They want they want to be able to go. Speak have a conversation with their dad. So please, you know, just thank y'all. Thank y'all. And, and anybody out there that might can hear us or see us, that's all we do. We beg y'all. Please help us. Just help us. Marcus, if you watch Marcus, please tell us what the rain is in. That's all. What's done is been done. But Marcus, please just, just tell us what you done with your rain. And that's all. We just want to bring it home. Thank y'all, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I have so much each and every day to say, but I'm, I'm going to try not to cry for that and cry. My life has tremendously changed since all this has happened. And each and every day, you know, God has, that's the only person I really can rely on is Him. 
because I know that each and every day he gives me something of strength each and every day. Y'all, this is, this is, it's hard to explain how this feels. It really is. I mean, I don't even feel the same anymore. I don't, you know, everything just different. And to know that someone knows, because Martha can do this by himself. He had to have that. We all know that. Whoever is involved, I know it will come to the light one day. It may not be in our timing, but it will be in the time and coming. And that's how I feel because God has given me vision every, I mean, y'all, He has shown me things that I know that's going to come. So, to all of y'all, all the people that have been, you know, helpful and just encouraging, I thank all of y'all. And it's Jermaine, I mean, he came into a dream to my daughter, y'all. And I do want to share this. I mean, he came to my daughter and God as well. And God was ministering to me, my sister, my trainer, and my mama. But my daughter couldn't hear what he was saying to us. But Jermaine came to her and told her that he was okay, that he was fine, that he, he was going to miss us, and that he wanted us to take care of his kids and to let everybody know that he loved us. And each and every day, that's what I rely on, each and every day when I wake up, knowing that dream that God sent to me to let me know my brother did come to me to let me know that, you know, he's fine. But anybody that know anything, I just ask, please, hear my mama cry each and every day. We talk daily. It's, it's very, very hurtful, y'all. I mean, it's, it's, it's very hurtful. And... I just ask if anybody knows anything, please come forward. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to, I'm on Facebook, sorry, talking. You don't have to say your name, whatever you, I, none of us will go anywhere, no farther, but we need some closure, and I know we're going to get some closure. I know it, and that's my belief, and I'm, I'm going to hold on to it. And I mean, that's just, and God will not give up on no, nothing, and I know he, he, can, he cannot lie, so I'm, that's my faith right there is God. No one else. I don't listen to nobody in the street. All that's blocked out. And, you know, I always run around and give my mama. It's hurtful, but, you know, I got to let her do her thing, you know, because that's her child. But Jermaine, he's going to be missed. That was my child because I helped raise him from when he was little. If I couldn't go nowhere, if he couldn't go, I could go. So, it, you know, it's hurtful each and every day, y'all. And, you know, I have to stay strong for my mother. But I just want to tell each of you, y'all, I love y'all. I just pray that, you know, somebody just come forward. That Marcus, if you're looking, I mean, please just tell us what your mind is. I mean, it's no, you're not getting out. You're not going anywhere. I'm not bashing you. I'm not hating. It's, I mean, this is something very, very just unreal. But I just pray that you just open up, that God just open up your mouth and tell. Because my brother is somewhere that I don't even know. And, if, you know, I just want to get up in the morning and just go. Where can I go? I mean, it's, yeah, I just don't know. It's 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 hurtful. And I just I mean I just ask y'all to keep us in prayer. Because that's what we've been I mean, we gotta keep praying no matter if it don't seem like nothing, we gotta keep going. Because I'm not gonna give up. Because I know God. He he has did a lot of things in my life. And I'm not I'm not gonna give up on it. So I just pray that, you know, y'all just keep us in prayer. I know y'all may hear me, but the one person I knew to hear me is the man up above each and every day, night, fall, 
whatever I do, this is like how it's because, like you told me, I should not lie, I won't lie. So within my time, it's just that, you know? So it, it's, it's hurtful each and every day, y'all. Y'all just don't know, I can get in the zone and I'll be, you know, just keep holding on, I can go. But, you know, my up right here is just to know that, you know, when she went through with all the situation and, you know, I just, I ask God sometimes, I question, but, you know, hey, I know he won't do that to hurt none of us. You know, things just happen, you know. But I just pray that Marcus, and like I said, Marcus went to church with me. My church was right across the street from Marcus. And, you know, I think about that each and every day, just seeing him coming in and sitting in front of me. And, you know, I just, I try to understand how can that go about, you know. It's just weird, but. It's just hard because I just I just didn't understand that. Because we went to church together. We really did. And each his house was right across from my church. And it's just hard to know that this went on and you know I was right by him. It's just, it's just crazy. But like, No matter what our little squabbles was about, I would have never in my life wished nothing of this magnitude on him. And especially on his mama, who is my friend. And to see her gives me so much strength to see her go out and start. 
church every day, like she's been doing and having to go back to work. And so I pray every day for her and for this to be over with so she can get some closure. Jaden's birthday is next week. He'll be 12 years old when the bay is eight. And I don't think the bay really understands at this point that he won't come back. In Walmart, and she asked me, she said, Grandma, we can put my daddy's picture on that wall right there. And she just didn't understand. And so I just say that if Marcus's family or anyone else knows anything, please get in touch with Dolores or anyone. We're all from Woodruff, Woodruff's a small town. Word gets around, so she'll get, she'll get word. If they could please just do that, if not for her, for his children that are here. Like I said, Jay will be 12 next week, and I know he wonders, you know, why. And it would just be nice if they could have some closure going forward. I know that he was laid to rest probably the way it should be. That's all his family wants. Show Jaden and the baby, and we show them 